Inertia means it is the tendency of an object to resist the change of its state of rest or its motion. Mass is the measure of inertia because inertia is directly proportional to the mass of an object. So when mass is greater, the inertia also greater. When mass is lesser, the inertia is lesser one. So inertia and mass both are related directly. Okay, so inertia means the inability of the body to change its state of rest or of motion or its direction by itself. The tendency of an object to resist the change in its state of motion. Okay, the rest arkla, illa motion arkla, illa direction arkla, and the change panikirithikka and the body lirikra inability edha namo ondhu inertia abdhiin sorro. So, in the inertia evlo kevlo adhikma arko, Ablo kolo greater force should be applied on that object in order to produce the change in its state of motion. Okay. So, the rest learn the motion kondu varadhuko. Illa motion learn the speed increase pandradhuko. Illa speed decrease pandradhuko. Illa stop pandradhuko. Inertia rumba greater anduchna. More force have to be applied. Okay. For example, one peri a bus irukku and the bus a vandu rest la irundhu moving kondu varanum direction a maathunu illa adu stop pannunu appadina more force is needed than that of the cycle or cycle la vandu rest la irundhu moving kondu varadhukku direction change pandradhukku stop pandradhukku less force is enough so yen appadina bus oda mass vandu romba greater so inertia also greater cycle oda mass vandu less so inertia is less so inertia abdina idu vandu cycle ku mattum dhaan irukuma bus ku mattum dhaan irukuma na no ella body kume irukum even a small ball okay ipo namu vandu or rubber ball eduthukrom short put eduthukrom na edhukku vandu more inertia irukum na short put because adoda mass vandu romba high so inability also high so inertia abdinaale you should remember the inability of the body to change its state of motion or state of rest Okay, by itself. So, if we have a force applied, panna, is it possible to change its state of motion means? Yes. But that force should overcome the inertia of the body. What are the th three types of inertia means? Inertia of rest, inertia of motion and inertia of direction. So, these are all the types of inertia. What does mean by inertia of rest means? The inability of the body to change its state of rest by itself okay so our body adoda rest position la irundhu motion ku varadhukku and the body la irukra inability adha inertia of rest appdin solluvom so idu eppadi or example vechi prove pannalam appadina if we consider a passenger stand in a bus rest la irukra or bus bus la vandu or passenger eri ninnittu irukanga didin and the bus start aagumbodhu passenger falls backward ஏன் அப்படினா அவங்களோட லோவர் பாடி மோஷனுக்கு வந்துருச்சு பட் அப்பர் பாடி மோஷனுக்கு வர்றதுக்கு தெர் இஸ் அன் இன்னபிலிட்டி அதனால ஒரு ஃப்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் செகண்ட் தான் அப்புறமா தான் அவங்களால மோஷனுக்கு வர முடியும் ஓகே அடுத்தது இனர்ஷி ஆஃப் மோஷன் அப்படின்னா தி இன்னபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் த பாடி டு சேஞ்ச் இட்ஸ் ஸ்டேட் ஆஃப் மோஷன் மோஷன்ல இருந்து ரெஸ்ட்டுக்கு வர்றதுக்கு அந்த பாடியில இருக்கிற இன்னபிலிட்டியை தான் நம்ம வந்து என்னன்னு சொல்லுவோம்னா இனர்ஷி ஆஃப் மோஷன் சொல்லுவோம் For example, running bus ले अरंदर jump करना होगा, सिला पेर वंदर running ले वंदर bus ले अरंदर की ले अरंग हम होते, immediately cannot come to rest. Bus से इंदर direction ले ओड़ी ट्रिको, अधे direction ले the passenger certain distance ओड़ी ट्रिको, then only he can comes to rest. ये तो मात्री वो running अर्थ ले ट्रिका, the hundred meter running, two hundred meter running ले participate पन रहा ना. And the finishing point one the other thing is rest to come to rest. No. Konja dhura on the other thing is to come to rest. Then only they can come to rest. Okay. So this is said to be inertia of motion. So motion is the immediate rest to come to rest. There is an inability in the bodies. This is said to be inertia of motion. Next one inertia of direction. In order to change the direction of motion of the body, there is an inability in the body that is said to be inertia of direction. For example, we have to travel in the bus and travel in the bus. If we have to travel in the bus, we have to travel in the right turn. 
will fall in left direction. Ena, nama, namloda straight line le irukum. Bus matto immediate a noda direction a matum bodha. There is an inability to change the direction of motion. So this is said to be inertia of direction. So you remember these examples in order to understand the concept of types of inertia. Okay, next one is a very uh, important concept that is said to be momentum. Momentum is a special characteristics of the object in motion because see here if we consider an object of mass m a force f is acting on that object due to which the object comes to motion that is moving with a velocity v. Now, what is the special characteristic of that object means it is said to be momentum. Momentum is denoted by the letter P. So, what does P means? It is nothing but the product of the mass of the object and its velocity is said to be its momentum. Okay, so see here product null multiplication we know that. So, mass into its velocity is known as momentum. Okay, so P vector is equal to m into v vector. Momentum is a vector quantity because velocity is a vector quantity. Or vector you scalar you multiply panamudha will get a vector quantity. Okay, so momentum is a vector quantity. What is the unit of momentum? Mass node unit kilogram. Velocity node unit meter per second. So kilogram meter per second is the SI unit of momentum. Okay, so you remember momentum means it is the product of the mass of the object and the velocity with which that object is traveling. Okay, what is the SI unit? Kilogram meter per second. It is a vector quantity. If we consider the object is at rest, what is its velocity? Definitely that will be zero. That time what is the momentum? Momentum also zero. So that's why we are telling momentum is a special characteristics of the object which is in motion for rest uh, objects the momentum is equal to zero. The objects at rest now momentum also zero. Okay. So you remember momentum which is very important in order to understand the Newton's second law of motion. Okay. So see here Newton's second law of motion. What is the definition for this means? The rate of change of momentum of the object is directly proportional to the external force applied on that object. So rate of change of momentum, the external force applied on that object is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum. This is the second, Newton's second law of motion. First we will see what is mean by change in momentum, what is the rate of change of momentum, how that is directly proportional to force uh, in order to derive the expression for force that is F is equal to M into A. See, if we consider an object of mass M, initially that is moving with a velocity U. What is U here? That is the initial velocity. So what is the initial momentum now? That is denoted by the letter P1. That is as equal to mass into its initial velocity. So M into U. After a certain force acting on the object after a time T, that is moving with a velocity V. What is V? That is the final velocity of the object. So now what is the final momentum? Mass into final velocity. So M into V is the final momentum. What is the change in momentum now? Final momentum minus inertial momentum will give change in momentum. So change in momentum is equal to final momentum minus inertial momentum. So that substitute the values of these equations will get M into V minus U. Okay, next one, what is rate of change of momentum? Rate of nravartha, yenga vandhanu sari, adu kaprama irukra quantity ya, time a kuruthu calculate pannroon nartho. So, the rate of change of momentum abdi nale, change in momentum by time taken with respect to time, what is the change in momentum is said to be rate of change of momentum. So, that is also equal to m into b minus u by t. So, According to second law, the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the external force applied on that object. So, F is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum.
that is equating while equating a proportionality constant should be introduced that is k so k into m v minus u by t what is v minus u by t rate of change of velocity nothing but acceleration so see here acceleration is equal to v minus u by t so v minus u by t in this equation is replaced by the letter acceleration a and the unit of force is choosed in order to maintain the value k is equal to 1 that the proportionality constant or the value 1 irukra madri force or unit when the choose pannano. so k no the value 1 na f no the value n i do that is m into a mass into acceleration so f is equal to m into a thus proved already i told you the equation for force so f is equal to m into a that will be proved with the help of the newton second law of motion so f is equal to m into a and we know that the unit of force that is one, newton how is it po uh, possible to uh, define the term one newton with the help of this Adina. see one kilogram mass or object la or a certain force apply panamodu that acceleration 1 meter per second square mari adu move aga aramichiruchuna appa and the body mele nam apply pandra force da 1 newton appdi solluvom idu eppadi nama definition ah sollalam appadina 1 newton is the amount of force if it causes 1 meter per second square acceleration in the object of unit mass unit mass naale 1 kilogram nu artham so unit mass la 1 meter per second square acceleration la or amount of force cause panuchu appadina that amount of force is said to be 1 newton so see here f is equal to 1 kilogram and 1 meter per second square means then force is said to be 1 newton this is the definition for 1 newton if you have any question, define the unit of force. So, like this we can answer. Okay. So, you remember that's all about the concept of Newton's second law of motion. Thank you students. If you like this video, subscribe our channel and share with your friends.